Number two, write the following isotopes in nuclide notation. And for example, which is EG, they give us what we need to do. So we have to have a number on the top. So maybe I'll clear that in green. We need a number on the bottom. And then we need the element lettering. Now the example that we give or they give us is copper 70. So I need the elemental le lettering. So we'll just color code this. We'll get the blue on the right side. We have a number on the top and we have a number on the bottom. And once we have all three of these components, that's the end of the day. The first thing is let's find out what the elemental lettering is. In our case, we're dealing with copper. Right now, some of you might know what copper's lettering is, but you could always go back on the periodic table and find out where copper is to find out the lettering. Copper is right here. Copper is a Cu. So we know one third of the piece of the puzzle. We know that this is going to be, oh boy, we, we know that this is going to be Cu. Now we need the number on the top and the number on the bottom. Well, the next number that they gave us is a 70. Now, whenever they're telling you copper 70 or carbon 14 or oxygen 16, that number is always the atomic mass. It's the bigger number out of the two numbers that are going to be here. And you could think of it as bigger numbers go on top. So the 70 will go on the top. So the atomic mass will always go on the top. Now, what's the number that goes on the bottom, right? They didn't give me any other numbers. Well, the bottom number is the atomic number. All right, well, how do I find that number out? Well, for every element, its atomic number never changes. These numbers are the whole numbers on the periodic table. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. The atomic number, also known as the number of protons, will never change. So for copper, I'm looking at a 29. So I put a 29 down here and I'm done. That's the answer. Um, that looks good to me. So we got a 70 on the top, a 29 on the bottom, and a CU for copper. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. If you want to help us out even more, um, we just opened up memberships. So you guys can become a member to the channel. There's cool, uh, I guess, little perks, right, that you get along with it. I think they're pretty cool. And it might help you out in your classes. So check it out. And, you know, not obligated, not mandatory, but every little help helps us out. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye-bye.